You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrians for our Black and White Sports 2. Well, my goodness. An NFL legend is coming out and he is saying Russell Wilson is sort of reaping what he sows. In other words, he sucks this year and he wasn't great last year either because of a strong desire. And this is something we've talked about before. His strong desire to develop into a pocket quarterback. Something he's not capable of doing because he's too damn short. Okay, and... uh but he's very envious. This is sort of known that Russell Wilson's very envious of Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. He also is a big Drew Brees guy. Uh, but even Drew Brees was an inch and a half taller than Russell Wilson. And he also learned how to play from the pocket on his tippy toes to get an extra inch, inch and a half in vision. Well, there's a direct correlation between Russell Wilson's decline and unwillingness to scramble, design runs, run the read option, bootlegs, play action, rollouts. All that stuff has slowly but surely started going away, and that's reflective in his rushing numbers. Well, now Warren Moon, a guy who is very familiar with Russell Wilson because of the Seahawks, is coming out and saying, this is not a Nathaniel Hackett problem. This is a Russell Wilson problem. And Russell Wilson's desire to want, a, want to play a certain way. And what we've got here, this is outkick, by the way. We've got a, a, a round hole, square, square peg kind of situation. Russell Wilson's trying to squeeze something in to a place that doesn't fit. Oh, my goodness. Let's get to this. Warren Moon took issue with the notion that coaching is a problem for the Denver quarterback, Russell Wilson. Quote, everybody wants to blame the coach, Moon said, referring to the first-year head coach, Nathaniel Hackett. But this is what Russell wanted. He wanted to be a pocket quarterback, and that's what he has always wanted. Moon, the first black quarterback to be elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, knows Wilson well from their days together in Seattle. I don't know why black quarterbacks got anything to do with anything, but okay. Wilson was drafted in the third round of 2012. Moon was a radio analyst for the Seahawks at the time and until 2017. Early on, Moon was considered a mentor to Wilson. While Moon said he has tremendous respect for Wilson's ability, he believes that Wilson's stubborn desire to be primarily a pocket passer instead of a quarterback who moves around has been the issue this season. Wilson was traded to Denver in the offseason after making the Pro Bowl nine of his first ten years. The move was considered a blockbuster for Denver, giving it a quarterback that could take it back, take them back to the playoffs. Instead, the Broncos are 3-8, and eight, and Wilson is having the worst season of his career with a rating of 83.5, nearly 20 points below his career average. He's also heading towards his lowest touchdowns ever. Now, let's look at this, guys. Uh, there's a direct correlation here between him. Look, his best seasons, it was 500 yards rushing, 375, 586, 553, 850, 539, 489. I, I mean, it just it just is what it is. Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl. He even made the Pro Bowl last year, but last year wasn't a great year for Russell Wilson. I mean, he was hurt a little bit last year, but he was already starting to fall into that. I want to be a pocket passer. And Pete Carroll and John Snyder knew he was not capable of doing this, and that's where the feuding started. The Broncos are last in scoring, 166 points in 12 games. On the way to the worst offensive performance in team history, the 1966 Broncos scored 196 points in 14 games, an average of 14 points a game. Good God. Even as Wilson helped Seattle win a Super Bowl and appear in another, Moon said there were growing issues between him and the team about exactly how to use him. The Seahawks wanted to continue to have Wilson work on the edges of the defense 
on a regular basis using rollouts, play action, and bootlegs. Quote, Seattle wanted him to have have him in the pocket 60% of the time and then move around the rest. All that stuff about Russ Cook is really him talking about wanting to be in the pocket all the time. He can't do that. He's too short. You have to get him in space a lot of the time so he can see everything. Moon said the five foot ten Wilson often talked about how former New Orleans quarterback Drew Brees was one of his favorite quarterbacks. Like Wilson, the six foot Brees is on the shorter end of the QB spectrum. Still, Brees was an inch and a half taller than Wilson and played every drop back pass on his tippy toes. Quote, the Saints also did a really good job of getting guards in a center who were good and could keep the pocket clean when Breeze stepped up the throw. Seattle used Russell on read option plays much of the time to keep Wilson moving around. Quote, you have to get Russ moving around so he can get out into space so he can see things better. You know from watching, he's not able to see the middle of the field. When you watch him throw, it's rarely deep down the middle. He also doesn't see it very well, and now that he doesn't move as well as he used to, he doesn't like going. So this could be a a continued issue unless Russell Wilson is willing to revert back to being a mobile quarterback, okay? We've talked about this this season He's not a mobile. Uh, he's not a pocket passer. He's wanting to be a pocket passer, and the question is, did Denver not realize this? Because this has been something that that fans have known. If they're really locked into the NFL, even fans have known Russell Wilson was wanting to become a pocket passer, and it was a source of controversy in Seattle. So the question is, did Denver? tell Russell, we will let you be a pocket quarterback. If they did, that's a problem because he can't play. He sucks. He absolutely sucks as a pocket passer. And this will be, and it's trending in this direction anyway, it will be one of the worst trades in the history of football if that is how Russell Wilson really wants to continue to play quarterback. If that's his desire... He's going to wreck his career from here on out. And if he gets in the Hall of Fame, it's going to be based on his first nine to ten years and not the last four to five or six, okay? Um, In fact, people will have to ignore the back half of his career to get him in, right? Uh, Look, Warren Moon knows. He's been around this guy a bunch. He was a mentor to him at one time, and this tells you, this is the things that Russell has told him about how he wants to play quarterback. And we cover Russell a lot on this channel, mainly because he's always doing something cringeworthy. And most of the league can't stand him. Ex-teammates can't stand him. And he's always doing something cringy off the field. People were willing to ignore the cringiness as long as he was a damn good quarterback. But now you've got cringiness and shitty quarterback play that's come colliding together and Denver Bronco fans are ready to pull their hair out. And I don't blame them. This looks like a horrible trade. It truly does. And hearing Warren Moon, an NFL Hall of Famer, say this about Russell Wilson would scare the shit out of me as a Denver Broncos uh, fan. And look, the league, people in the league, especially from an offensive standpoint, Really respect Nathaniel Hackett. Well, Russell Wilson and how he's trying to play is going to wreck this coach. And he's probably already lost his job after the season regardless. And this is a guy that Aaron Rodgers considers one of the best offensive minds in all of football. And he's going to end up losing his job. And you're going to sit back and wonder, huh. And look, it probably wasn't a great fit anyway. Because the Broncos jumped the gun, hired Hackett, thinking they were going to trade for Aaron Rodgers. Instead, they got Russell Wilson. But none of it matters if Russell Wilson's not, not, 
not agreeable to go back to being mobile. If he doesn't, this whole thing's screwed and his career screwed. So you get the point. And 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 this is some kind of an ego thing with Russell, which has caused a lot of the cringiness as well, right? A lot of the things he said, Mr. Unlimited, Wolverine's blood, all this stuff sort of flows from ego. Well, his desire to uh, want to forcibly make himself a pocket quarterback when I'm sure people have told him, look, that's not really your gig. That's not really your strength. And he's like, oh, no, I can do it. I can do it. Well, no, you can't. You look like shit. I mean, you and Zach Wilson, the two Wilson guys, y'all both blow. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.